All right, sorry. thank you very much. I think I just happened to be online at the moment you asked. Uh, I had a really fun stampede week. Let me tell you about my stampede week. I got to meet the prince and princess. That was sort of fun. Oh. And then I got to meet Cheryl Bernard the Curler. Uh, kissed lots of babies. There was the time when, uh, oh yeah, yeah. I flew the fighter jet. Not only did I get in the back seat of the F-18, once we got um, up over Jasper, in my headphones, I heard, all right, we're out of air traffic control range. The controls are yours. And I said, ha ha. And um, the guy said, no, no, go. That joystick is active. So I kind of went left, right, and down, felt up. It. I just kind of went, ee, 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 ee. all right, thanks. That was fun. And he goes, come on, sir. You said you like roller coasters. Let's do something else here. And so he said, would you like to roll, roll the aircraft, sir? And I said, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so we did barrel rolls. We went straight up, five Gs. Oh, wow. We turned the afterburners. It was pretty awesome. Oh, that's good. So there you go. That is the most fun thing I've done as mayor. All right. Neither. Right. Yeah. They're both terrible, terrible mayors. <laughs> I have the mayor mobile, which uh, brings me to work every day, which is a hybrid sedan. I really wish I could take transit to work every day, but uh, the people around here keeps telling me that there are security issues if I take transit all by myself every morning. Uh, local Calgary girl, Jan Arden. She's been fantastic for so long. I think she's an incredibly underappreciated lyricist. More modern days, probably my favorite is Chad Van Galen. He's proven that you can have a great yeah. international career from right here in Calgary. Yeah. You know, we're very lucky in Calgary. The economy is doing well. People in the city are great. It's a beautiful city. We have a ton of opportunity, but we always have to balance uh, off the services that people need and the capacity we have to actually pay for them. Unfortunately, our urban sprawl over the last, well, particularly over the last couple of decades has made that extremely difficult. It's hard to keep up with the need for libraries and rec centers and fire halls in the outlying communities without increasing everyone's taxes. So that's really the challenge that we're facing. And we committed to holding our tax rate to inflation, but that means we're going to have to find about 140 million bucks in efficiencies over the next couple months here. Well, you can't borrow it from us. You don't have we'll, it. We'll see how the show goes tonight. Okay, <laughs> pass a hat. Yeah. yeah. I'm not 100% convinced it's actually a radio station, but... <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? The other CBC. Oh no, they understand. Okay. <laughs> this is just Grant Lawrence in his basement. <laughs>